hello everyone today we are going to discuss about a topic which is small for gestational age or in a short term you can say SGA so start with the types of low birth weight already we have studied in that we have one is preterm babies we have studied and one is small for age babies okay and you know what is low birth weight low birth weight means if the baby is below 2.5 kg in India 2.5 kg is normal weight for a newborn so if it is below 2.5 kg we'll consider them low birth weight so that also categorized into two types one is preterm and one is small for age babies so small for age plus preterm equal to low birth weight so how do we define so small for gestational age equal to birth weight is below 10 percentile okay and last for gestational age equal to for the period of gestation last for gestational age and birth weight will be that is less than uh, sorry more than 90 percentile okay large and in case of small for gestational age there will be 2 sd for mean weight for the 2 sd for mean weight for the period of gestation and in case of last for gestational age it is more than 2 sd from the mean weight for the period of gestation so types of uh, small for gestational age there are three types okay one is malnourished one is hypoblastic one is mixed there are three types of sga so first one is malnourished sga it is the commonest type of sga and it is asymmetric intrauterine growth retardation and two third of intrauterine growth retardation is become malnourished sga and malnourishment during the later part of gestation placental dysfunction and utero placental insufficiency you can see this malnourished sga and asymptomatic intrauterine growth retardation see this picture next one is hypoplastic small for gestational age it is symmetric to the intrauterine growth retardation it is one third of iogr it is growth retardation in early pregnancy intrauterine infection genetic defects chromosomal abbreviation can cause it okay and incidence of anomalies is 10 to 20 percent higher in this case and features of hypoplastic sga is decrease in the cell number all organs affected including brain all parameters are proportionally small parental index normal poor prognosis and there is a permanent physical and mental deterioration next one is mixed sga so you know what is hypoplastic sga and you know what is malnourished sga so when in the babies you will see both the symptoms then we will call it is mixed SGA. So adverse factors during the both early and mid pregnancy neither obvious malnourished or not grossly the hypoplastic and it is decrease in both cell size and cell count. Causes of small for gestational age is maternal cause, fetal causes is there, placental causes is there, environmental causes is there. Okay. Now we will see one by one what are the maternal causes, what are the fetal causes and what are the placental and other causes. The first one is maternal factors which cause that SGA like previous history means if the mother has the history of small for gestational age baby before they can get in the second baby also same. Next is grand multipara. Grand multipara means like if the mother is having age above 35 years and having like more like 2 or 3 or 4 children there is a chance of having small for gestational age baby. Then maternal disease okay if the mother is suffering from any disease okay that can also affect the baby like diabetic, thyroid, cancer, tuberculosis. Next is smoking tobacco and alcohol. See the smoking tobacco or alcohol it is common it is not only for the uh, small for gestation of a fetum also it is also one of the causes okay next is poor weight gain poor weight gain means during pregnancy normally a mother should gain at least 10 to like 12 or 11 kg throughout the pregnancy so but if the mother is not getting this uh, amount of weight there is a chance of having small for gestational age baby 
next is maternal nutrition so obviously if the mo mother is not having proper nutrition during the pregnancy which will affect the baby's growth also next is fetal factors now first we have studied about the maternal factors or maternal causes now we'll study the fetal factors in the fetal is the first born a genetic defects multiple pregnancy or in in uterus infections means if mother is having any infection when she was pregnant or if it is multiple pregnancy multiple pregnancy if the mother is having more than one baby a genetic defects in the newborn next is placental causes like abruptual placenta or placenta intracts or structural abnormalities in the placenta or vascular thrombosis in the placenta next is environmental factors environmental factors also can cause small for gestational age baby like ethnic or racial geographic socio economic status or nutritional factors common problems of sgs babies first one is intrauterine death first com problem that you can notice intrauterine death but asphyxia hypoglycemia hypocalcemia hypothermia congenital malformation infection polycythemia or poor growth potential okay so these are the commonly you can see with the baby with small gestational age management of small for gestational age emergency cesarean section to manage the fetal distress screening for congenital malformation early and educate breastfeeding okay correct hypoglycemia or hypocalcemia or polycythemia through transfusion and control the infection temperature regulation so with this we have completed the small for gestational age Thank you everyone.